Welcome back to my channel, loves. Today I am doing a little closet organization slash transitioning from summer to fall. I know that we're deep into fall, but I still have some summer stuff and we live in a condo, so we do uh, put our seasonal stuff in storage. Um, so I'm going to be just kind of like transitioning over to a few things that we need here for fall and winter that I have in storage, some things that I have here that I need to move out, and just in general trying to get my closet looking a little nicer, looking a little bit more organized, and just kind of refreshing and editing things down. So I did a closet tour a few years ago. I think that was probably like a year after we moved in here. So I haven't done anything in my closet here on YouTube in a while. I've changed up some things, but the unit that I have behind me is the PAX from Ikea. I fully customized it to how I wanted it um, for my like bags and jewelry and long dresses and coats, shorter like tops and jackets and stuff like that. Um, you can fully customize it. You can do it online. I did it in store a while back, um, but I absolutely love it. It is so nice. I feel like I can also kind of like merchandise it like it's my little own boutique or something, but I find that I can get dressed so much quicker having this fully organized and functioning that works for me. So um, again, because I do do seasonal, this is not all of my clothes, it's not all my jackets or anything like that, but this is the stuff that I use on like the everyday or that I'll be needing for this season. I also have a little like sliding closet to the left of me here. I'll show you guys a little peek of that. Nothing crazy yet, honestly, it's not as, cute or anything like that but it just helps me store more so today i'm gonna do a little transitional stuff I'm going to show you a few of my organizational uh things that i have inside of these and also talk about some things that i want to change or maybe order that i haven't yet so i'll probably be updating this video but i wanted to just kind of like get started like a starting off point just because of the fact that i've been on a huge organization kick the seasons have changed i know winter's coming and also because we haven't been traveling or going out very much, like we stay home a lot with everything going on, I don't need as many things here. And it's also made me really edit things down. So because I don't need so many variations of like coats and sweaters and all that kind of stuff, because again, I'm not going anywhere. It's a lot of just like home clothes and then a few pieces for here and there for really the grocery store because <laughs> really where we're going right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so I will show you guys all of that and I hope you guys like this video. You can go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos on like organization, if you like home decor, style videos, beauty. Uh, that's what I have here on my channel if you are new. So you can go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. But let's get started on this one so as i was saying this is my little closet here that i have um i'm not going to show you above here because it's a little messy with like towels and all that kind of stuff just like personal products um but i've like hung up just like all of my like casual stuff in here my dad put like a rod and then he put some like shelving above this underneath i have um these little ikea shoe boxes so it has like more of my sneakers and then underneath this oh I need to fix this one here I've got like my booties and more of like my fall um, like boots and shoes and stuff like that so it definitely helps you maximize the space more by have by using like every single corner of this little closet here and then on the side here I have more space to hang up things um, and then I created this little hook system here for my reusable masks that are washed um, I just use like some command hooks um, and put those on the side of the wall. I have this little acrylic sunglasses, um, little store tray. It's actually for like nail polish or something, but I use it for sunglasses, which I think is cute. Some makeup and stuff like that there. And then above here, I've got like, I do a monthly giveaway on my Instagram. Um, and so I always kind of like store the giveaway products here for the winners. 
um, and it's just like up above here and then I also have like extra like samples or products I need to go through from brands that have sent me things so that's what I use up here for these shelves and spaces okay so as you can see I mean it's not too crazy or messy right now but it definitely needs an update so um, I've got like my yoga mats that whole area needs to be reorganized I've just kind of like crammed a bunch of stuff in there. I want to refold a few sweaters and stuff like that here to maximize the space better. I need to reorganize my jewelry um, and just kind of like donate things that I don't need anymore. This is like all like my like costume jewelry and stuff and then I have like more random things in here. Um, but I did want to get like these velvet little inserts from Amazon for here. I think I'll keep like the plastic one for underneath. But I think for up top here, because I have so much like delicate fine jewelry, I think I would benefit more from putting the velvet ones in there. So we'll see. I already started kind of moving over some fall clothes over here. So I've like coordinated it by color. So like creams and browns and then all my leopard in the middle here, gray, black, all that kind of stuff. But I do want all of my like hangers to be the same. They've kind of all gotten like mix matched and then i want to get some baskets to put up here i just have like a random one that didn't fit any more of like i use the, i used to have a bunch of these up at the top here and then my friend gave me this great idea to do my heels up at the top here in like a rainbow gradient so i did do that um and i love how that looks i think it just looks really really pretty as well on the packs and then behind those shoes i have my sandals like flats from like the summertime so i don't move everything into storage because not everything fits in storage but i do have some of my like seasonal shoes behind it so you maximize the space because it is deep so it's great because i'm not going to be you know climbing up there to access those shoes all the time so it's fine if they're behind there i have a random plant up there <laughs> Um, which is fine. It can it can hang out up there, but um, I wanted to get like three baskets here that are matching so I can put just like some extra storage and stuff up there that'll look cuter. That is kind of just looking not cute right now. So I need to edit that um, and then I'm not sure if I should put all of my like jackets together. I kind of have like a few of like my blouses like a lot of like blouses and tops and like you know kind of more like blazers and that kind of thing on this side i wanted to like have like access to things that i use more often so these are like my sweaters but then also like my vests and my jackets stuff that i'm gonna like pull out and use so while i like it to look pretty and cohesive i also want it to like function for me so i don't know i think i'm gonna maybe mix that up a little bit this area is pretty good over here i just kind of like place some bags and then behind there it's like deep so you can fit even more bags um, so I think that's just gonna kind of stay as is over here I have like this little section with my little 360 rotator that I kind of have for like products and stuff like that but again I don't know how much I love it sitting up on here I have like a little bulletin and then this little like frame like an extra plant that was more summery so I brought it in here I didn't want it out there um, and then I also have like this like slab tray that I got from home sense it's a really nice like stone so I can put like perfume or style it here so I don't I don't know how I feel again about this section here I think I'm gonna like switch this up because of the fact that it kind of just looks like a lot going on and then because this is clear and you can see through the products over here um, I think it's just it's just too much so I might have to like clean this area up a little bit and maybe move that either into that other closet where I have like my sunglasses and stuff like that that way it's just kind of tucked away neatly or maybe underneath our bathroom uh, cabinet so I did already organize this area here so I just kind of like already had some containers and then I bought some new ones um, this was a container set of like 10 so I got big one I got two big ones like this then I got like a circle one like this and then like four of these small ones um, there was like a bunch of them that came in I love like when they have like pre-made sets like that because you always end up needing like so many containers so these are from Ikea like these are from HomeSense oh this was another bin part of the set um, and they're just great for like putting in inserts. You can find things like that at the dollar store. You can find them on Amazon, Target, anything like that. 
I organized these bins into colors because I was watching the home edit and I loved that they were like organizing things by color and it's so true like I feel like I remember things by their color rather than like moisturizers with moisturizers so I just put everything like green and blue together pink and then purple um, and that way you know you can just kind of it also kind of really looks nice when everything is cohesive I've got like lipsticks in these um, little containers here oils like essential oils and stuff like that in here I also have some essential oils over here that I like use more often um, so that kind of like stays more on hand over here um, and then like some face oils all of like my like lashes in here more like lip products lipsticks and stuff like that and then some like extra like makeup bags um, and whatnot behind here like just stuff that I don't access as much um, some perfumes and such so that got organized. I also organized my like intimates, like bras, underwear, socks, all that kind of stuff in here. I'm not gonna like open up and like show you guys all of that, but I did do a little bit of that and I just used again like these little um, like boxes from Ikea. Um, so they're like great little inserts to put in there and then that way everything has like its own little place. I need to kind of reorganize this area as well. So yeah, a little bit of work that I have to do here. It's nothing too crazy. More of like underneath there, moving things out, like my yoga mat, like having a place for that in like the front hall, um, and then getting like the baskets up here neat and tidy. And then I think just a little bit better color coordination happening in these sections here, making it really functional um, and color coordinated. So, so far it's good. I just wanna like update things with like the hangers, just having everything look a little bit more cohesive. I kind of like it to look like it's like a boutique or something. So when you're coming in, it's just all really nice and styled and well put together. And I just find that I can find what I'm looking for so much easier. Okay, so in this bag right here, I've just got like a bunch of my summer stuff. So. I also, when I was going through like, I had it in like my underwear drawer, like with my bras and something like that. I've got like all of my like swimsuits, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is gonna go away. I would normally keep it during the winter months because sometimes we'd go away, even if it's like a ski resort or something and you like to go to the jacuzzi um, or we would escape to somewhere warm during the winter, but this year we're not gonna be doing traveling. So I won't be needing any bathing suits. Um, and that'll just kind of like free up some of my space. Then I have like pieces as well that I'll be like donating or I wanna resell um, to a shop that um, does like thrifting so I can like sell it to them. Um, and then also like I can donate some of the other pieces. So this is a great time to go through your summer stuff as well. So when you are kind of like packing away your summer stuff, have a look at it. Did you use it that summer? Have you worn it in the past year or two? Is it just something that like you can get rid of and give yourself more space? Because then that'll also give you more space in storage, but then it also it lightens your load for the next season. So next summer, you're not gonna have to do as much work going through and editing it. I mean, I would recommend still doing that. Like when I go and get more of like my fall stuff, um, I'm gonna be going through it and seeing like, do I still like it for this season? Is it outdated? Do I still want it? Um, so always ask yourself questions like that. That way you can like edit it down. Um, and if you're really, if you're purchasing things that are good quality or stuff that's like investment pieces, don't get rid of those things. Keep them, for sure keep them. And that's the whole point. Like. I think it's more about like buying less, but buying things of quality and things that are gonna last you longer, maybe aren't as trendy so that you can really wear them throughout the years because I feel like there's of course things that I like to get that are kind of like more trendy and stuff like that, but I don't spend as much money on pieces like that because of the fact that I know that I'm probably gonna like give it away um, in a season or two. So I just kind of like made a whole bag of that. I got. Like the first round of summer stuff, like at the end of August, I went through and then I put all that in storage, but then I still had a few things because it was still warm. And now I think we're definitely entering cold season here in Toronto. So um, it is not as like where I'm flip-flopping. Like there was one day I was wearing a dress and sandals and the next day I was wearing sweatpants and Ugg boots. So the weather can totally change and switch on you. And if I don't have any of my summer stuff here, 
it can be like dangerous. So that's why I like to keep like basics like leggings and t-shirts and tanks that you can layer that you still maybe want to have in the winter time, especially if like you're just like at home or something like that. But dresses, like really like spring, summer prints, that kind of thing, that can all go into storage, especially by now, because now we're in October. <laughs> finished just kind of matching all of the hangers now as you can see I love that they're like all one color all one style um, and then I put like the more thinner hangers over here I got all these hangers from Ikea I don't think they sell these thin ones anymore which pretty disappointed because I love these ones because um, they're nice and thin you they usually just have like the really thick wooden ones but I also love those and I find that like when all of your hangers are the same and it's cohesive that's what really makes your presentation of your closet, I think, really, really nice. It almost like feels more like a boutique. Um, and so I love that. Um, I kind of just switched those over. Shoes are still the same up top here. I did kind of rearrange the bags. So I took the large Louis Vuitton Neverfull and I just put it in my other closet. Um, and then I just kind of styled these other handbags here so I think this looks a little nicer because it looked just a little crammed in there and then I've got these nice boots here on display just they act as really nice decor as well of course and then I also wear these a ton during the fall and winter um, so I have those there and then I just edited this little area here which I love cleaned it up made it more fresh again um, so this print right here is actually from Target um, and it came like framed, super cute. These are like some faux hydrangeas that I had in our bedroom, but they were just kind of like not really being seen. They were like in a corner on the nightstand and it was taking up too much space. So it's perfect here. Um, and I think it just looks really nice and classic and they never die, but they look really real. I'll link them down below. Um, this vase is old. It's from Urban Outfitters Home, but I love it. It's like an orb uh, vase and it just looks really nice and unique. Adds a little bit of color and tone. Then I put some like fashion coffee table books here because it's a closet um, and I just took them off the bookshelf because I just feel like it just looks more appropriate here being in the closet um, and it adds a nice little styling piece just to kind of give this little height. I have this Canadian uh, company right here which is the Canvas Candle Company um, that do these beautiful candles um, and I thought that that looked really nice right there as well. A little hair clip here that I love. Um, so I just kind of like styled that and that way it's not too busy just because again so many products in here that make it look more busy so I wanted this area to just kind of be a little bit more simple and it's just nice and clean and I think it looks really nice with the rest of the closet now. Um, it just looks really chic. Um, I do have to get some of those velvet little inserts to go in here which I will add Then I also need to get some bins for up there. But I will say I feel like I did a really good job today just like kind of cleaning things up reviving the space making it look a little bit more like chic and pretty again I did do like the color coordination like a few weeks ago so I just had to like kind of move a few things around so I did like browns to whites to grays to blacks same thing over here I did like whites to creams to the grays to the blacks on this side um, and a little bit of navy blue over there but my palette is pretty um pretty neutral if you can't already tell I do like my animal print you can see a lot there but for the most part, I am pretty, pretty neutral kind of growl. Um, and then over here, I just kind of refolded a few like sweaters and hoodies and stuff like that. Some like cozy stuff. So I have that, like a few like pajamas back there. Same thing in these over here. It's just kind of like more like folded um, like tops and sweaters and PJs. Uh, undergarments and stuff like that in there. That is actually like more like storage and stuff like that for more camera equipment um so yeah pretty simple and then over here is just like the pants that i hang up on this area um and then this is where like i have like belts and little like handbags and stuff like that that are more flat so that is that i'm super happy with how it turned out just like a nice refresh we've got our fall stuff in here 
um, and then I have like the rest of like my fall things over on this side so a little bit more space for me but this space I feel like looks nice and clean and tidy again I just need to update these little units here so all right I hope you guys found this video helpful if you liked it I hope you will give it a thumbs up if you really liked it I hope that you will hit that subscribe button let me know down in the comments what video you want to see next and I will see you in the next video I'm gonna